And joining us tonight is a man who has been skeptical of the Bar durham jensen investigation throughout. He is Tom Fitton. He's the president of Judicial Watch. His new book, by the way, is A Republic Under Assault, The Left's Ongoing Attack on American Freedom, available for your pre-order now. We recommend it to you highly. Tom, good to see you. I, we're, uh, the truth is emerging. There won't be any unseemly truth for voters to consider uh, as a result of the activities and the high energy that the Justice Department brought to the investigation of Obamagate, the worst crime against a president or this nation in our history. Your reaction? Well, I, I can't. I'm, it's it's outrageous, but I'm not surprised. I haven't seen any indication of a serious criminal investigation of uh, the coup cabal, as I call it, uh, beyond Mr. Klein Smith, who was handed to them on a silver platter over a year ago, and they still kind of messed up that plea deal. Much of what we know about what went on, mm -hmm. uh, we've known. Well, he's, ro years. he's rotting away in prison, isn't he? Yeah, that's he's year, rotting I, away in prison, isn't he? His sentencing is in December, I think. Uh, you know, remember, Devin Nunes exposed Well, we wouldn't want anything to, get, anything to get cluttered here. <laughs> That's right. I, uh, I mean, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. Well, and and the, the fact of the matter is that Attorney General William Barr, a lot of people, and I will include myself among them for a period of time, had high hopes. But as uh, Senator Johnson says, this is a political decision that was made. Uh, and, uh, you know, this Justice Department is, well, it's not as politically corrupt as uh, under the previous attorney uh, general, but this is sure as hell not anything to do with justice. This is outrageous, what we are saying. Uh, John Durham, this Justice Department and the culture of let us investigate for a year and a half. In other words, give every uh, perpetrator and evildoer all the time in the world to change evidence, to manufacture evidence, to bury evidence, is outrageous. These are. This is not a sophisticated investigative department. They are a clown show, and pathetically so. Your thoughts? Well, these documents have been, uh, you presumably they've had for years. Uh, you know, when Mueller was hired, he had indictments and prosecutions, and he was basically done in a few months. Compare and contrast that with uh, Mr. Durham, and you'll see that, in my view, there's He's not willing to prosecute anyone. Uh, the crimes have been out there and outlined for years. Devin Nunes exposed the FISA uh, scandal years ago. So this isn't like secret information that only the Justice Department and the FBI are finding out about when we do. They know about it. For instance, the page struck material, all those linked text messages, they've been hiding that from Judicial Watch knowingly. Yeah and arguing with the court that they shouldn't have to turn it over in a timely way for years. There's McCabe text messages. They're telling us, but just they have a few pages of practically speaking. Yeah, they don't want to give them to us till December. Let, let's be clear. They won't have it. Let's Go be ahead. clear. The various organizations, including and, and foremost among them, yours, uh, others, uh, Sidney Powell, the, the defense attorney for General right. Flynn, absolutely have laid this on the laps uh, of the investigators of the Justice Department, the FBI, and they have done nothing. Now, they're either lazy beyond comprehension or they are politically corrupt beyond hope. Uh, and there's another, I guess, uh, possibility that they just want to see what the American uh, people vote and then see if they were right, like a game show. Uh, it, it's sickening what we're watching. And this president has a very serious choice to make. Uh, what documents can be released by him, given that there's a criminal investigation, he doesn't want to be charged with obstruction of justice or interfering in an investigation, and Durham's is a criminal investigation. Uh, is this just more of the same political corruption an effort to stonewall, to slow roll, and cover up the greatest crime in American history? Well, from our perspective, it sure looks that way. I, I, you know, Mr. Barr is an effective communicator, a good leader on uh, certain issues that we care about. 
but the follow-up has not has been lacking in terms of the accountability. They've been withholding documents, and I agree with you. The president should go on a transparency tear and release all this information. Uh, this is not material that is subject to withholding under law. It can be just released on the discretion of the president or the agencies, and they're just using their discretion to cover up as opposed to be forthright with the American people. And we see what they're covering up. I mean, they're, you know, we, we got material about Strzok wanting to use counterintelligence uh, briefings at the White House, the Trump White House, to spy on uh, President Trump and his people. That was turned over to Judicial Watch. It wasn't turned over to Congress. So you can't even get a straight answer. You have to ask the question six different ways. Congress asks for documents. They get stuff we don't get. We ask for documents. We get a lot more that they don't get because we're in court. This shouldn't be the case with the Trump administration. And the president should recognize that the FBI and the Justice Department, his political appointees, are letting the FOIA lapse in a way that is protecting the deep state, helping Joe Biden, certainly, politically, and letting the corrupt get away with it, uh, hopefully past the uh, time when anything can be done. Because if President Biden, if there's a President Biden, you think Attorney General Yates or Attorney General Clinton is going to prosecute the deep state? Hell, I know William Barr won't do, won't do it. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there thinking, what difference does it make right now? Uh, giving up on the idea of justice in this country uh, and the prosecution of people who have uh, carried out a plot to overthrow the president of the United States. As of right now, because of William Barr's Justice Department, they're getting away with it. It's that straightforward to me. Am I wrong? You know, James Comey leaked and lied and stole President Trump's FBI files. No, but am I about wrong him. about Attorney yeah. General Barr and well, his and, department? I know what Comey did. Well, Comey and is guilty of. And so Comey did, was so referred the for prosecute, and, and Comey was referred for prosecution, and they decided not to do anything. Attorney General Barr did. McCabe, he lied. They decided not to do anything about it. So Attorney General Barr has decided to let some of these bad guys off, and we're being told that maybe they'll be prosecuted later. You know, I, I just don't buy it. But I'm hopeful. Who knows, Lou? Maybe we're wrong. I hope we're wrong. Yeah, I'd like to think we're wrong. But I do know this. Attorney General Barr is sure as hell wrong. Tom Fitton, thanks so much. Appreciate it.